Hello, I'm Mayor Clint Folsom, and I'd like to welcome you to my seventh annual State of Superior event. As many of you know, our first five State of Superior events were live in-person events. Due to the coronavirus, we had to cancel in-person events scheduled last year, and I recorded a video message. While we are making good progress towards getting back to in-person events, I decided to go with the same video format for this year's presentation. I'd like to recognize Town Manager Matt Magley, Assistant Town Manager Martin Tope, and all of the other town staff members for their help in assembling these materials. Last year, when we canceled our in-person State of Superior event and just about every other event, I never imagined at that time that I would also be delivering the 2021 State of Superior by video, but well, here we are. This past year has certainly been challenging for everyone. Routines with school and work were disrupted. Some friends, family members, and associates contracted COVID, and sadly, over a half million people in the United States have died, including residents of our town. This year started off hopeful with the rollout of the COVID vaccine, but we also experienced great tragedy in our neighboring community of Boulder with the mass shooting event in late March. Many of our residents had personal connections to the victims and the location, and we continue grieving with the entire Boulder community. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the Town of Superior, our hearts go out to everyone during this difficult time. And as I stated last year during this same update, what will keep us going is the tremendous spirit of giving and resilience that exists throughout our community, regardless of our challenges. Now, I'd like to transition into some slides and highlight a couple of points on them as we go along. Please note this slideshow will be available separately on the town's website for review if you wanna go through these slides later, again, in a slower pace. In addition, we'd welcome your questions, so please reach out if you have additional questions. This first slide shows that we're currently at level blue. As expected by this weekend, we will shift to level clear. Also shown are some statistics on vaccinations to date. Our town staff and town board recognized the urgency of this situation last March and later in the year it became and came together quickly to allocate funds that could be granted to our small businesses and restaurants to help them address the sudden closures of their businesses. Here's a high level summary of the grants and support that the town has provided to date. Now we'll transition into our economic development segment. Here's a map showing most of Superior. Several sites are highlighted and I'll be mentioning many of these throughout the presentation. A Couple of new businesses at Rock Creek Village, also known as the Safeway Center, two tasty new restaurants and a chiropractic office. At Superior Marketplace, we now have a crumble cookie shop. Lots of activity to report. Last year in downtown Superior, here's a high level summary of the entire project to date. This is a portion of Block 25 at downtown Superior. Remington Homes has both single family and townhomes under construction, many of them now occupied. Thrive Homes is also building townhomes on Block blocks 14 and 15. This is the largest segment of residential in downtown Superior. Toll Brothers is constructing 300 residential units, which will include single family homes and townhomes. Site work is now underway, vertical to construction to begin later this year. Here's some images of what Toll Brothers will be building on this site. The area shown in red here is what we consider as the core of the downtown area. Approved in December 2019, we were anticipating things would get started in 2020, then COVID hit and put the brakes on the project for most of last year. Then last December, it was announced that the downtown project would be sold to Carmel Partners who intends to start construction this year. This slide includes a summary of what their project will include. Approved last year, the construction of the Marshall Road Bridge is now underway with the completion expected this fall. This will provide a new entry into downtown from Marshall Road. 
just west of the main street in McCaslin Roundabout, Boulder Creek Neighborhoods is building 26 single family homes on the original Superior Street grid. This phase of the project is sold out and they are finishing the remaining four homes. Approved last year, Boulder Creek Neighborhoods will be constructing 51 wee cottages between phase one and McCaslin. Site work is underway and sales should start this fall. Approved in 2018, there are 10 duplexes now under construction at Discovery Ridge, and to date there are about four units occupied. Boulder Creek Neighborhoods is under construction on 31 duplexes or 62 units at Lanterns at Rock Creek. 32 permits have been issued and several have been completed and occupied. Phase two of the Calmonte single family home development is sold out with five remaining homes under construction. Montmere at Autry Shores is a 94 townhome development located in the southeast part of Superior between Bell Flatirons Apartments and Flatirons Mall and across the street from Chick-fil-A. Site work was completed at this location last year and sales are now underway. Now this concludes a review of current development projects that are underway in various stages of development. Um, I also wanted to mention a significant ordinance that our board passed recently concerning our commitment to affordable housing in Superior. The ordinance says that any new development project, whether it's for, for sale town homes, townhomes or condos or rental apartment construction, at least 15% of that development must be designated as affordable. Now this is a significant step for Superior because previously there was no such requirement. I was a strong supporter of that ordinance because I do believe that every community needs to play a role in helping to provide a variety of housing opportunities to our frontline workers, our teachers, our first responders, and many others who are vital members of our community but do not have the incomes necessary to live here. It's not acceptable in my opinion for us to simply say, affordable housing and some other community's responsibilities. Right now, I'd like to shift over and have a discussion on the town's finances. Our 2021 projected revenue was just over $51 million. Almost 45% of that is from sales tax. The other categories include utility, impact and permit fees from new construction, loans for capital projects and other reimbursements. On the expense side, here's a, short, a chart showing the different categories for all the expenses. The largest category labeled general includes town hall administration, parks and recreation, public works, and law enforcement expenses. This revenue slide shows our projected revenue increasing each year. Last year at this time, I showed the same slide and it was also projecting increases last year. But what was unknown at that time was how would superior sales tax revenues be impacted and affected by COVID and the associated shutdowns that we were experiencing a year ago. At that time of last year's projections, town staff was forecasting a 5 to 10% decline in 2020 sales tax revenue based on the unknown effects from coronavirus. Fortunately, that did not occur and overall sales tax revenue in superior was actually up 18% over 2019 levels. Those results were largely due to significant sales increases at Superior's grocery stores, warehouse stores such as Costco and liquor stores. Unfortunately, there were some sectors including retail stores that had to close and restaurants that saw significantly lower revenues and um, were also forced to close last year permanently. Property tax trends are also projected to increase. Last year at this time, we were also uncertain how COVID was going to affect the real estate market and home values. Now, my other day job, in addition to serving as mayor, is working as a residential real estate broker, which I've been doing for the last 30 years. Like many people, I expected a slowdown in the real estate market resulting from COVID, but the exact opposite happened and real estate valuations have been rising rapidly as inventory of available homes has fallen to all time record low numbers. Now there's many reasons for this occurring, but for the purposes of this slide and presentation, it's sufficient to say that property tax revenue will continue rising for the years to come. Here's a chart showing our town's debt. Last year debt was increased 
project for two significant purchases, an open space acquisition in, the, in our new community center at 1500 Colton Road, plus some significant wastewater improvement um, improvements. But as you can see with a couple of the special taxing districts expiring soon in a three year time frame, we will be back down to the lowest levels of debt in 20 years. A few slides back, I mentioned property tax revenue and how it was increasing relative uh, to the increases in home values. This is a breakdown of where your property tax dollars go. And as you can see, the town of Superior's portion is one of the smaller items, actually under 10% of the total property tax bill. As mentioned earlier, last time this year, we were really uncertain what the effects of COVID was gonna have on town finances. In the end, sales tax revenues were up 18% over 2019 levels. Our utility revenues are also now able to support the utility expenses, which is good because we're not having to subsidize this from the general fund. It's also worth noting that our utility costs are significantly lower than many of our neighboring cities. Some additional notes on our finances, expenses with, were within budget or lower. Debt has been issued for two major purchases that were completed last year. And absent some major event or closure of one of our large retailers, we should be in good shape financially. Now we're gonna shift and discuss some public works projects. Last year, 88th Street was reconstructed and included the addition of a new multi-use path on the east side. 36 Bikeway, very popular, getting a new segment added this year, which will provide Superior residents some better connectivity to that trail. It wouldn't be summer without some repaving work, and this summer, McCaslin is getting a makeover from State Highway 128 to Colton Road. Promenade Drive is a new street that will eventually connect and provide access to downtown Superior from the south side, 88th Street. Our wastewater treatment plant continues some improvements. Now we'll talk about some parks and recreation. Here's a summary of our extensive parks and recreation system. 812 acres of parks, an open space and 40 miles of trails. Not bad for a four square mile town. Coyote Ridge open space. Now, despite the, the ongoing pandemic, last year we were able to complete Superior's largest ever open space acquisition, the 182-acre CenturyLink property. This prominent ridgeline property is visible to most of Superior's residents and will be preserved from development and will provide opportunities for new and improved trail connections. This acquisition will definitely be one of my proudest moments and accomplishments from my time serving as mayor. The area shown in blue here labeled as private property is the subject property and that was acquired by the town. And we recently selected the name as Coyote Ridge Open Space. There's a nice picture of Vinny, the guard llama who protected the 50 goats that visited town last year for weed control. Thank you to the many volunteers that assisted as well. As you can see, despite the COVID limitations, the Parks and Recreation Department was still able to have a successful year of programs and projects. Pros is Parks, Recreation, Open Space. And here's another slide showing additional projects from last year and some new ones underway for this year. Have you tried pickleball yet? The new pickleball courts at Autry Park are staying busy and the sports table has also added some outdoor pickleball. Earlier, I mentioned the Marshall Street Bridge, which is shown in this slide, adjacent to Cole Creek. And this bridge, we're also going to have two wonderful new parks, which should be open by this time next year. A couple of examples of our sustainability project, electric lawnmowers, zero escape, and goat grazing. Some 2021 highlights. We started this year with virtual events, but as you can see, we're transitioning back to the more traditional format of events. The 4th of July will include the downhill mile, parade, food truck festival and an opportunity per, to preview, preview our new community center at 1500 Colton Road. If you've noticed a significant increase in artwork around town, you're not imagining things. This is all part of our placemaking master plan. And here's some of the details. We're excited to announce that Superior's first and only community center will be opening very soon. This building will be open for viewing and activities on the 4th of July 
lots of excitement for this very versatile space. And the timing is perfect as we start reopening in-person events around town. Some additional projects. In February, our town formally established our first and only sister city affiliation with Kadbari, Nepal. Mr. Narayan Shresna, a longtime superior resident and native of Kadbari, brought this, to re brought this request to the town many years ago. And I'm very pleased that we were able to complete the process this year. There's already a very active citizen committee planning a number of events and meeting regularly. And I encourage anyone with interest to check out the Sister City page on the town's website. Superior's continuing to work on solutions to reduce noise associated with airport operations at the uh, nearby Rocky Mountain Metro Airport. This slide provides some of the most recent updates and the town's website contains an extensive amount of information that you can review as well. Now this is our final slide. You've made it to the end with me, congratulations. If you're not signed up for town updates, please consider subscribing. Here are several ways to stay in touch and provide feedback. Once again, this whole slide deck is available on the town's website for review. Please contact me by phone or email if you have any follow-up questions. My contact information is on the town website. In closing, I want to thank town staff once again for their help in assembling the materials for this presentation. Thank them for all their hard work keeping our town government running smoothly during this very challenging time of constantly changing requirements. I want to thank my fellow board members and trustees for um, being flexible and carrying on with our town meetings with lots of Zoom. I want to thank my wife, Leslie, her two sons, Colin and Nick, my parents, my extended family, all of whom support me and the time I spend serving as mayor. And finally, I want to thank you, the residents of Superior. Please know that it's an honor for me to represent you and to serve as your mayor. Thank you.